All right, 19 members in the meeting. I am starting. Right, so today, good evening, everyone. I welcome you all to the second class of VAC. So I'm starting with oxygen therapy as we are done with the introduction of the ICU, the parameters, the area, the guidelines. I think we are done with it in a very deep aspect, right? Today we are going to start with the oxygen therapy. So in oxygen therapy, uh, because we are dealing with ICU, so this is the basic, basic thing which we do in the ICU is what we provide oxygen because our body works on oxygen. Right? So we are taking breaths, that means we are alive. So how do we provide breath for the patient who are not able to take their own breath is the oxygen therapy. All right, so as everyone knows, the atmospheric pressure contains 20.95% of oxygen in the body is one of the most essential element to sustain life. The partial pressure of oxygen in a human body, which is 80 to 100 mm Hg, is measured by ABG analysis. Now, a half of you might not be knowing atrial blood gas analysis, but this is oxygen this will tell this analysis roughly tells you the oxygenated blood the content in a division so in division it says it tells, it tells you about the pressure of oxygen in the blood and the electrolytes the bicarbonates everything related to the blood the composition of blood basically through this analysis you get to know so normally the oxygen modules or oxygen molecules sorry travels from atmosphere to the mitochondria at the cellular level right where it produces atp through the aerobic metabolism so our body works on the metabolism because when energy where do energy came out where do from where oxygen came out when the metabolites burns right in the mitochondria right so metabolism takes place there the energy get released right this is first year i think biochemistry any process that limits or inhibits the transport of oxygen from the atmosphere to the cellular level with leads to the hypoxemia hypoxemia is the lack of oxygen in the blood right so any process which creates disturbance in transporting the oxygen from outside to inside the body is called the hypoxemia and which ultimately leads to death, right? So arrest, hypoxemia or, you know, any such condition like MI, right? Where the oxygen supply is not present, right? Can lead to dysfunction of the oxygen in the body where it results into the secondary complication and ultimately reaches to death when oxygen is prescribed it should be considered a uh, it should be considered a drug and particular dosage must be ordered right so you cannot uh, give any any uh, amount of oxygen even there is a prescribed dose which is being taken care in the ICU, right? Which you give to the patient, right? So how you calculate that oxygen that how much is being given that we will cover in the ventilator part, right? So FiO2 is the oxygen amount which where you decide that how much amount of oxygen patient needs, where the patient can inhale and exhale with the help of a machine, which is called ventilator right so based on fio2 that how much our body requires oxygen that is the dosimetry of the oxygen which the patient needs to be alive right now what are the indications where you can uh, provide the oxygen therapy to the patients 
so the patient with cardiovascular and pulmonary impairments i hope you understand the vascular and pulmonary difference right next is the chronic copd which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease right where their uh, you know lung compliance got decrease and oxygen level suddenly deprived get deprived now why why you are giving the oxygen therapy what is the need so where there is hypoxemia like we have discussed excess work of breathing is there because the patient is struggling for the oxygen right hardness or uh, you know there is more labor on the breathing and excessive myocardial work or your heart works more right so basic basic things on which our oxygen parameter works is lack of the oxygen work of breathing or where shortness of breath or your heart one is lack of oxygen in the blood another is load on the lungs and another is load on the heart so these three parameters solves the purpose for giving the oxygen therapy because these three works in uh, you know synchrony to give supply to the body of the oxygen so the only way to ensure is the blood gas monitoring which is abg analysis where it tells the partial pressure of oxygen in the atrial blood arterial blood means the blood in the the amount of oxygen in the blood in the arterial blood means purified blood or oxygenated blood right and the monitoring hemoglobin saturation by oximetry where we take the blood and you know the oxygen is calculated from the hemoglobin right so the methods of oxygen delivery now you know the oxygen delivery and so there are methods how you give the oxygen to the patient right so one is low flow and another is high flow right so in low flow which is not intended to meet the total inspiratory requirements of the patient means the patient is able to take the oxygen but is not uh, you know completing the requirements by its own right so there is low flow sixth uh, oxygen system is required which does not deliver the entire inspired oxygen but helps in taking the breath so that the breath can be completed it should not break right because the patient is unable to take the complete ventilation or complete breath so low oxygen level continuous oxygen level will help the patient to complete the breath all the time because we as a person or we as a healthy individual does not uh, you know realize the importance of breath meanwhile you are sitting and you don't know that you are taking breath right sometimes we don't realize but the at the patient level in the icu the patient is struggling for oxygen and they're not able to complete the inhalation and exhalation process so which is termed as the inhalation is total inspiratory requirements right so to cover that or you know to complete that cycle for inhalation and exhalation the oxygen delivery system is required for example using a normal minute ventilation of 8 liter per minute the patient receives only 1 liter per minute by the device okay so if the patient is taking 8 liter so the patient through the machine will receive only 1 liter so completing the cycle to complete the cycle only 1 liter per minute continuously by the device is required so every time the patient changes his breathing pattern the tidal volume and the respiratory FiO2 may change because it is continuously completing the requirement. So the endurance of the patient will develop finally, right? Because one thing which we are giving continuously each and every minute, right? Each and every second, so that will create a residual volume in the lungs. So which is required to take the complete, uh, you know, oxygen or to take a complete cycle. so what are the instruments where you give the oxygen therapy through which you give the oxygen therapy so what are those these are nasal cannula 
face mask, partial rebreathing mask, non rebreathing mask, and the transtracheal oxygen catheter. So, nasal cannula or nasal prongs is usually used due to low expense and high patient compliance. And because the leak percentage is very less in nasal prongs, right? So, it supplies approximately 0.24% to approximately 24% to 48% of the oxygen. If you give 1 liter to 6 liter oxygen only, it will give you 50, about 50% 50 of the oxygen, which is more than enough to accommodate. So, the, if the person is able to take half of the breath even, so rest half can be delivered through the nasal cannula. Right? So, it is that much effective. But for only those who are able to take the breath, who are able to generate the FiO2, right, by themselves, where there is no collapse in the lungs. So, flow generator rate is greater than 6 liter per minute and may cause nasal mucosa irritation and dying. The only and only drawback for this is because it is not uh, the, you know, humidified oxygen. It is the dry air which irritates the mucosa and, you know, it can damage your mucus lining. The amount of oxygen depends on the flow rate and the ventilatory pattern of the patient, right? So, if the patient is able to generate the 80% of the FiO2, then only 20% is required through the nasal cannula, which is 1 to 2 liters per minute, right? But if the patient is not able to take or able to generate the flow rate or the ventilatory assistance is required, then nasal cannula is given, right? which is, it is also faster and deeper the patient breathes, the more diluted the oxygen will come because it reaches to the end level, because it reaches till the periphery of the lungs. So that is why it is in more diluted form. If the patient with the nasal cannula is mouth breathing, the practitioners should ensure the nasal passage are not obstructed, right? So that is why suctioning is required. We will cover in the next slides the suctioning right if the patient is not able to breathe through nose switch the patient to the mask immediately right so this is nasal cannula the one end where you can see the two holes and a loop this is in the nose and where you can see the end the one green side the open side that is connected with the oxygen through this pipe, the oxygen is delivered under in the nose. All right. Now you come to the open face or simple mask. It delivers the 40 to 60 percent of oxygen depending upon the flow. If the flow is more, the leakage will be more, right? And the patient pressure, patient will have more pressure on the face. So, there is less oxygen delivery in the nose or less delivery of the oxygen or less oxygen is delivered to the lungs. So, flow rate is 5 to 6 liters per minute to prevent rebreathing, right? Because until unless patient takes the breath, the machine is giving again the breath. So, patient is not able to take his breath, right? So that is why slow oxygen is being always preferred so that patient should have the outcome or patient should have the time to response, right? And excess respiratory work is being prevented, right? So what are the limitations? It should not be used as a precise control of oxygen concentration is required, right? So, like I told you that FiO2 decides how much oxygen is required and face mask covers the face, right? So, patient needs the time to respond. So, one breath if given by the machine, then another patient should be able to take or patient should have the time to take it, right? So, you can see this is the simple face mask where you can see the mouth and nose both are covered, right? But in nasal cannula, it is given directly in the nose 
and it is even the nose was open and the mouth was open so where the patient is able to generate the effort depending upon the condition how much the patient is able to generate that decides the requirement or the type which is needed i hope this is clear so this is you are entering into the icu the first basic thing is oxygen therapy after knowing the structure after knowing everything the first and foremost thing you require is to give patient breath right so partial breathing ma rebreathing mask it is a mask with a reservoir bag attached okay so a bag is attached with the mask so like you have seen there in this a bag is there which is below the uh i mean at the uh, lower level it is attached we will see so the oxygen source supplies with the bag with 100% of, of oxygen like it the name is suggesting it is a rebreathing mask so the oxygen exhaled is vented through the open pores and each time the patient is able to take the oxygen and release the oxygen right it automatically have that space which supplies 100% of the oxygen so which is more 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 reliable and with no leakage will almost a negligible uh, percentage of leakage which is 5 to 7% the exhaled air containing co2 is vented through the open port each side of the mask so when the patient exhales co2 it releases from the vent it can deliver oxygen concentration from 70 to 80% requires the flow between 7 to 10 liters you can see the oxygen ka content which you are delivering is 7 to 10 liter which is more right and the patient is also receiving more in this which is 70 to 80% to keep the bag from fully collapsing during inspiration this is the rebreather right make you can see the one green side at the upper like this right so this is connected through the oxygen port this is rebreather bag and this is the mask and also you can see the nasal cannula is also there right you can see on the patient face over the red color strap is the nasal cannula the patient is receiving both so that the 100% advantage can be taken some of the students are mailing me messaging me so please while in the lecture i am i hardly access the phone ma'am display showing only first slide we are unable to understand things is it so ma'am some students are not able to join I don't know many of you have already joined So they are coming late you know because now I have to give the permission those who have joined on time I don't think they have got any I mean uh, any resistance in joining the class now because the time is already gone so i have to give the permission each time which is not possible for me to see the message each and every time 
right so kindly tell your friends to join i am giving 5 minutes please tell your friends to join fast because if now they need permission and i cannot access both the things simultaneously and if you are not able to see the slides i'll switch to the shorter mode i mean then the slide ka size will be less and i have added everyone in the class already you know i have typed each and every email id by myself only so there is no chance they are not able to join until unless their network issue persists because uh, i am not having any network issue please tell them to join fast i am giving 5 minutes we will start at 5 5 please tell your friends to join so that i can give permission to join because now the request will come and i have to accept it
Is it now visible? Yes, ma'am. And I'm changing the slide. Is it now visible? Yes, ma'am. All right. So your friends did not join. So I cannot help it. Please let me know. If they join and they are not able to join, they have to click the link. When they enter in the class, I'll get uh, I have to approve that because uh, I'm sharing the screen. So I might not get the notification, right? Because I'm sharing the slideshow. So in slideshow, the permissions are not visible to me, right? So if any one of you get to know that some of your friends are joining, so please let me know so that I can accept. All right, so I hope uh, the rebreathing mask is clear to you. Now coming on to the non rebreathing mask, which contains the reservoir bag and delivers up to 100% of oxygen. Rebreather delivers 80% and non rebreathers give the 100% of oxygen. Depending upon the patient, like comatose patients, they require re non rebreather mask. Okay, the mask contain walls and the reservoir bags at the sides and the vents to prevent to the ambient air mixing on inspiration and exhaled air mixing on expiration. The bag should partially deflate during inspiration. Right, so this is the type of the non rebreathing mask where the patient use, you can see the arrow is indicating the vents and the lower arrow is connected to the, this is the bag where this is the, uh, the connector where the oxygen vent is connected and below you can see below the green level is the bag, right? Which is used primarily in emergencies and for short term administration of high concentration of oxygen where the patient require 100% of the oxygen their non rebreathing masks are required on the ventilator on comatose on injuries in spinal cord injury patients surgical patients where the patient is not in their senses right where the gcs is low so to give or to prescribe the non rebreathing mask uh, you know you have to make sure that the patient is unable to take the oxygen otherwise you can shift the patient to the rebreathing mask right now transtracheal oxygen it is used in pediatric as well as adult patients it's surgically placed in the trachea where the incision between second and third tracheal ring so you know you should know the anatomy well before giving the transtracheal oxygen catheter right so the name is suggesting it is trachea the transtracheal through the trachea you are giving the oxygen directly to the lungs right which is used in home patients the more efficient than the nasal prong high patient ex ex uh, acceptance rate with low complications since it is used directly into the trachea 50 percent less oxygen is needed right because of the leakage or where the utilization through the passage is more that is why it is given directly into the trachea and the patient is able to utilize the 100% of the oxygen cosmetically it appears it's appealing since the catheter can be removed by the patient's clothing right because since the patient wears uh, the clothes from upside through the head so it is quite possible that it removes automatically or you know it gets loosened up so the patient has to take care on that what is the complications of that the plugging of the catheter and subcutaneous emphysema right subcutaneous emphysema is the infection at the site of the uh, you know connection between the machine and the body right through which the passage is weak because it is open so the emphysema can develop you can see in the image the transtracheal catheter 
you can connect it with the ambu where you can also you know directly inflate the lungs you can have a look on that so you can see the half of the passage has been already uh, you know covered or you can say it can spare right so from the nose till the trachea the passage is free mouth is free nose is free right the connection is between trachea and the lungs directly another system so these were the low flow systems i hope any questions are welcome there is no doubt i hope or if you have some kindly let me know no doubts shall i move to part b all right coming on to the high flow systems it delivers a specific oxygen concentration despite the patient is ventilated right so it is already decided the dosimetry is already decided or it is fixed in the machine and the patient receives the fixed amount of oxygen whether it should be a leak i mean it doesn't matter if it's a leak if it's the you know the mask is not fitted properly on the mouth on the face right the machine will deliver the same amount though the machine indicates the amount of leakage but the oxygen delivery percentage is same which the which has been set by the doctor right delivers the entire inspired atmosphere pressure to the patient right so when it is indicated it is indicated when it's, it's it's used when patient requires oxygen delivered at an fio2 of 50% to keep the saturation level safe means if the patient is not able to take half of the breath to complete the cycle inspiration and expiration both so there is indicated or there are indications where the patient requires high flow mask or high flow oxygen system where the co2 retention is there and hypoxic drive is there co2 retention means the patient is not able to exhale properly right the exhalation is not taking place that is why the carbon dioxide is remaining in the lungs and it is increasing the level of the carbon dioxide right and hypoxic drive is where oxygen is less then you come to the venturi right now there are different types of venturis available in the icu depending upon the patient need and requirement right so venturi is the most common delivery method in the high flow system right so where the concentration is of oxygen is 24 to 50% right which is quite appropriate while giving or while putting the patient on the oxygen therapy 
so it works on the venturi principle the principle says the narrow orifice and high velocity right where there is less space more pressure can be given so the oxygen flows through an narrow orifice at high velocity causing a sub atmospheric pressure in the level right the drop in the pressure causes the ambient air to be entertained through port there are ports okay so with through which the venturi masks are connected so flow rate becomes 40 to 80% 80 liters per minute which provides minute ventilation at the higher rates okay so that means the patient is able to generate the fio2 or the ventilation approximately double the amount of the oxygen given to the patient so the oxygen delivery is constant irrespective of tidal volume and breathing pattern like i told you the amount of oxygen is fixed in high flows right and the patient is able to generate the capacity to take the oxygen so this is the venturi this is green color venturi there are different colors available and the aerosol is also connected so the mask is connected to the aerosol unit by large bore tubing to allow specific fio2 to be delivered with high humidity right the circle which you are seeing at the below and the lower side is the port of the you know aerosol where you can connect the aerosol therapy which is again a different uh, oxygen delivery pattern where you can deliver the drugs also which helps in releasing the cuff from the chest you can see in the image it is connected to the mask and green color yellow venturi green venturi orange venturi and white venturi these are the four basic colors in the venturis where the you deliver the through which you deliver the oxygen to the patient right different venturis have the different percentage of delivering the oxygen depending upon the patient requirements the criteria for selecting the venturi is being taken and again the abg analysis is done how much oxygen is there in the blood that is again decided that is seen through that investigation through abg analysis and then based on that values the acidic and basic nature of the blood is been calculated or is been seen because the values are given it uh, results from the values and then uh, you know it has been decided from which mode for which mode the patient is been given the oxygen therapy another you have is the portable oxygen in portable oxygen you have the cylinders where you have all the options of high low and concentrators right because the portable because it is portable so patients can take the device at home and the in consultation with the doctors definitely with the doctor it is delivered the amount of oxygen is delivered to the patient delivered in the homes for the patient those who is needing for long term oxygen because long term stay cannot be done in the hospital so if the patient requires less amount of oxygen regularly so the patient is being put on the portable oxygen therapy so it is used in copd patients who are hypoxic always because you know in copd only the lung has lost the capacity to recoil which is the basic phenomena of the lungs where the patient uh, where the lungs got recoil where it loosens that capacity so the home oxygen delivery system can be divided into three categories high pressure low pressure and the oxygen concentrators in high pressures the oxygen tanks comes in various sizes such as h k sizes are used as a reservoir so reservoir uh, is the term which we used in the oxygen where it reserves where the oxygen is always present okay so long oxygen tubing is connected with these tank because the tubing is also the size of the tubing is also uh, you know varies with the pressure right so the distance and concentration if the tubing is big the concentration will be high if the tubing is short the concentration will be low right so long oxygen tubing are connected to these tanks to allow patient mobility and also it allows the patient to get mobile right you can put the cylinder at one side and patient can 
room at least in bed area right so that much uh, at least the tubing should have the long space second you have the low pressure oxygen delivery method contain the liquid oxygen remember the uh, the content of the oxygen right so in high pressure oxygen it is it is in the liquid form uh, it is in the oxygen gas form and the low pressure may it contains the liquid oxygen which is more convenient for active oxygen patient one more advantage of liquid oxygen that it provides humidification to the lungs it is not dry right then concentrators it is commonly seen in home health setting tend to be costly initiative initially but less expensive for long term use so electrically powered and create the oxygen by drawing ambient air across the semi permeable membrane separating from the nitrogen right because our nature consists of 21% of the nitrogen operates at 2 liters per minute and provide 90% of oxygen so you can see the concentration is so much at very less level only 2 liters is generating 90% of oxygen so this is high flow cylinder this is long flow oxygen cylinder and this is concentrator where you can see in between a mug type image this is a reservoir any doubts anyone having very less participants today why so are you getting everyone because this is advance course right where you undergo a knowledge basically you can say a crash course of the icu physiotherapy ka right so you have to be bit you know alert and you have to do little homeworks also to understand this you all have opted but you know you should work you have to work for it to understand because after covid you know the icu requirement the physiotherapy in icu has become uh, you know it has come like in abundance right so the understanding of the icu and work in the icu is very much important right so any doubts are welcome okay we'll discuss the doubts in the end let's continue i hope i am audible to everyone and you are getting at least little if not 100% at least 70% can i have the answers in the chat yes ma'am you are audible i am not asking for audible i am asking if you are getting 70% at least what we are taking so if you have any doubts you can ask or we'll take your doubts in the end 
are you getting what is being taught all of you only two yes what about others only prince and physio 191048 have responded because after this session maybe in a day or two you all will receive a link of the quiz of the test basically the assessment which you have to do and after these when you you know will check and those who will clarify will go to the next level okay so you have to complete one assessment one short assessment to qualify the next level so all the registered candidates will get that link but the next class will be taken up by only those who will you know complete that assessment i think it's pretty nice i think fair this course will run for a month around saturdays or sundays we'll try to cover as fast as possible because ultimate certification will be taken by those who will 100% complete the criteria right so without wasting any time let's complete our oxygen therapy right so coming on to the cpap right with the oxygen therapy so cpap is continuous positive pressure breathing it's pressure delivered with the above the atmospheric pressure which is the normal above than the normal which is usually or normally required what was the basic atmospheric pressure which we have started in the first slide which is required by the human body can anyone answer unmute and speak no one how much mmhg you need brush up guys you need to boost yourself this is this value added course is not easy right you really have to work little hard not so much hard but at least little hard right so i will not tell now you have to tell right so cpap is where it is continuous right the name is suggesting continuous positive pressure breathing 
continuously generating the positive pressure inside the lungs is what the machine do right it is used to improve the oxygenation for the patient which is with ineffective oxygen delivery and obstructive sleep apnea who have the uh, you know disturbance in the night because of the oxygen they cannot sleep regularly or they cannot uh, have a sound sleep because of the hypoxia or a lack of oxygen in the during the night right so for those patients cpap is advised it is useful in the management of the respiratory distress basically right in the premature babies and decrease the need of the invasive mechanical ventilation so the patient need not to be put on the ventilator directly cpap sometimes fulfill the requirement and it is useful in babies also premature babies in the premature delivery right because in that case many of the child is already in hypoxia stage right so to recover from the hypoxia continuous positive pressure breathing therapy oxygen therapy is required you can see the machine small box machine connected to the patient's nose and patient is sleeping which is mask you know covering the mouth and the nose so the use of oxygen to improve exercise right so now we are done with the like patients and the requirements the types the dose right the level ventilation now coming to the how you can use the oxygen to improve the exercise so increase exercise performance in patient with copd who have moderate to severe important who have moderate to severe in air flow obstruction and mild hypoxemia even at rest so you give those the oxygen while doing the work also so this improves the performance right while patient is doing any kind of work the oxygen is given continuously in which the copds are been very often to take the oxygen therapy copd patient with non hypoxemic at rest requires this it also decreases the work of breathing and improve muscle strength and endurance right because if how do muscle work on the metabolism and metabolism come from the breakdown of the oxygen in the muscle and muscle your body muscle utilize that oxygen because oxygen and your purified blood the oxygenated blood contains all the nutrients which your body requires right so it fulfills that criteria it fulfills the need and so it helps to improve and patient is able to do the exercise right so this is it with the oxygen therapy okay so tell me if you people want to start with the suction or shall i hold it for the next class Hmm. All right. Only one response. I need every one response. Only two replies. I think you people are not sleeping. Okay, so to continue it with the next lecture, you have to give one answer. 
else i will start now okay you have 2 minutes to answer the question let's have a quick quiz okay tell me the colors of venturi available in the icu the commonly used venturi colors in the icu based on the oxygen requirement i am not asking the amount of oxygen i am asking the colors of venturi fast Don't Google it. okay you respond meanwhile i'll take a snap of your attendance okay some says white uh, green yellow red some says only green blue white yellow red white blue green confusions 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 okay so let's end up here please read and come in the next class and in the next class i am telling you that i'll start with suctioning and airway clearance and ventilation right both the topics will be covered and before going to that you have to complete one assessment which we will get through mail okay and also the information of the next class you will get through mail right any doubts i am open to it if you have any doubt you can ask no doubts no one
next class information i told you that you will get through mail the link for the and only those who uh, will get the email for the next class who will you know the uh, you know who will pass the assessment so before that you all have to undergo an assessment which will be shared to you all with the mail through the mail right so first you clear the exam little assessment and then you will get the link for the class is it clear all right you all may leave now <laughs>